Cześć, nazywam się Maria Garus. I will get an interview with Kilometro Zero Kinięto Stres. Yeah! Hello, <laughs> women cyclists. This is my Pachina. I initiated this Pachina when I initiated my project. Mi viaje desde Alaska hasta Argentina. Ahorita estoy viajando casi dos años y quiero estar primera polaca que pedalea sola desde Alaska hasta Argentina. Un día yo decidí que quiero iniciar mi grande viaje y bici fue más barato manera para viajando. Yo salí mi trabajo y solo inicié esta viaje. Fue muy difícil los primeros meses, pero estoy muy feliz ahora. Creo que es posible viajar más para mí. Cuando yo inicié, yo tuve 33 años y yo decidí que es perfecto momento para tiempo solo para mí, porque todos vivimos en este mundo, pero no mucha gente sabe por qué estamos en este mundo y qué quiero hacer en este mundo, qué es mi misión. Y yo no sabe qué, qué María gusta, si, si yo me gusta viajando o no, si me gusta deportivos o no. Y este viaje es para esto, para conocer que es María y que les gusta María. En mi país no, no hay mujer que inicie, que termine este viaje, entonces es una razón que yo decidí que quiero hacerlo, pero no es más grande razón, es más importante que es viaje para mí, para conocer mí y conocer gente, aprender idiomas nuevos. Cuando yo inicié este viaje yo no hablé inglés bien, yo no hablé nada español y mi español no es perfecto, pero es posible conocer cultura en Salvador, en Guatemala, en México. Es posible, no, no puedo terminar este viaje, nunca sabe futuro, pero estoy muy feliz que puedo estar en Salvador aquí eh, hoy. Este viaje es muy difícil para mí porque es mi primer gran viaje y muchas veces yo pienso que no es posible que yo pueda pedalear a Argentina, es, es gran, gran distancia. Entonces yo inicié planear solo pequeñas rutas y yo no pensé sobre pedalear, pedaleando hasta Argentina, yo pensé pedalear, pedalear solo en Salvador, solo en Honduras, solo en Nicaragua, como pequeñas partes. Inicié mi viaje con dos chicas polacas y primera regresa a su casa muy rápido porque es su abuelita se murió y otra conoce a su esposo y ahora ella vive en Alaska y es muy feliz en Alaska. Entonces yo viajo, viajo sola. Fue un poco tiempo que yo pedaleé con un chico brasileño, un brasileño. Uh, sí, pero me gusta mucho más pedalear sola. Ah, eh, necesito usar inglés ahora porque <ríe> mi español no, no es eh, perfecto. My trip is really intim for me. It's about learn how to fight with my fear. Because everyone has a fear. I had a lot of fear and still I have a lot of fear. And every day I broke some small part of my trip and I think it's most important part my travel. It's more, more difficult for women because we have a lot of fears. It's fears about meeting new people, about be solo, about to stay in the jungle or in the forest. It's a lot of fears. So in my opinion, this trip, it's about 
fear and how manage this fear to be yourself without this fear. Every country had some difficult moments for me. In Canada it was generally animals. I had a problem with coyotes. Mexico, I had a difficult moment with other cyclists who pedal in Chiapas and he was murdered. So we tried to help with repat repatriation his body. His name is Krzysztof Chmielewski. But my most dangerous moment was in uh, Guatemala, in Alta Verapaz state. People was really, really mean, <laughs> mean for me. They don't like white people, they don't like foreigners. And in this community, women cannot pedal bicycle. So they attacked me, that means not directly, but uh, they yelling gringo, they block my roads, they show me finger, middle finger. So it was a really difficult moment for me because indigenous area always was more more important for me i realized that these people are they are full of fear and full of hate and they can kill me just because no other cyclists no other tourists i i've been solo there even people doesn't understand my problem i try to explain on police and sometimes in places when i stay and people just laugh for them it wasn't problem it's just the word gringo it's not nothing bad that this word was used with uh, hate with really bad energy really aggressive against me so kids all families uh, all villages was really really difficult time for me but generally my trip uh, was full amazing moment I crossed Rocky Mountains incredible views we almost without people without cars seen a lot of glaciers I seen bears walls after I crossed Mexico and I I slept every day on the desert I met amazing people and in Mexico people live re in really bad conditions they had nothing but still they share with me it's amazing because in our culture we are more egoistic people and I came to Salvador I found that a lot of women on the bicycle and I was so happy first girl I met on the bicycle I stopped and I asked her about photo with her so I was so in shock I thought oh no probably in all Central America women cannot use use bicycle and yes I found it it's so amazing for me that in these really machista countries they they have strength to use bicycle to be independent because uh, for me right on the bicycle that means independent they use bicycle it's something like make a revolution in small revolution it can change one life here woman energy is strong and maybe government in Salvador it's not the best government and in my opinion should make a lot of change for for help women but it's it's good that women here are strong and they they can create own life in my opinion it's one of these things that every woman should do in her life. In every culture, woman should know how to protect herself. It's really good that they can be solo, can uh, find the food, prepare food solo. Every woman should know that we are responsible for our life and we create our life and we should not waiting that somebody came and will change our life because it's impossible and it's unfair with guys because we cannot put this heavy 
responsible for guys. We have to have a tools, we have to have good education, we have to take trip to know better ourselves and know that these things I like, these things I, I don't like, but uh, we cannot do this without experience, with, without go outside. It's better try first solo and after try find the partner and share these stuff together. For my situation I had a fear about camp solo. I have never done this before. When I slept first time in the middle of forest, I hear every animal outside and I was terrified because I thought, okay, all nature right now came here to eat me. <laughs> but nothing happened. It's one secret of the world that uh, the most dangerous animal is human. <laughs> most of possible that happen on the road is traffic. So it's human uh, on the, in the car that they use alcohol, they use drugs and, uh, and they drive the car, they drive really fast, they don't, they, sometimes they don't uh, get, give you enough space. Humans are most dangerous, <laughs> dangerous uh, animals in the world. Uh, I learned on this trip that it's better not plan because it was a lot of time that I planned something and uh, I think about day. Today I have to survive. <laughs> Today I have to find the food, find the shelter and plan the road for tomorrow. And, and it's easier. I cried all the time on my trip. I, uh, in Poland, I was a really close person, close, really strong. Always I thought I will not cry because crying is that means you are a weak person. But this trip changed a lot inside me and uh, I realized that crying it's not, it doesn't mean that you are a weak person. For me, this trip it's open your emotions. I'm not anymore European person that you need, you know, use brain, you use GPS, use technology. I I'm not anymore this kind of person. When people was mean for me in Altavera Pass, I cried too because I thought they will kill me. So I was sad. <laughs> Crying helped me be stronger, so yeah, I cry a lot. I miss home, most my friends. Uh, small stuff like we going to a, to drink a beer and to the pub together, or I just sitting with my family and my sisters and watch TV. Really small stuff. People from Poland support my project and, and I have uh, a little bit money for, fin for Finnish Central America and maybe a little bit to South America. Yeah. In Mexico, for example, I work on the street. I sold postcards from my trip. I, I talk with people about uh, traveling, about bicycle trips. And yeah, they, they support my trip. I sold tacos on the street. I do volunteering uh, with turtles and in uh, indigenous uh, hospital uh, in Chiapas. So they gave me some money too. Jaime, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? 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 ¿Cómo
Pero está bien en la maca. No. No, está bien en la maca. ¿Bien? 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 Ah, María. Sí, como la Virgen, María. ¿Ah? ¿Y soltera? Sí. ¿Soltera esa está joven? Sí, sí, sí. No, pero, sobre las piernas, resistencia. Hoy estoy un poco enferma, entonces fue difícil pedalear esta ruta. Every every day I have to wash my clothes solo without machine. Uh, and it's pretty annoying. Mm -hmm. Never do. I have never do this in Poland. <laughs> How many chores? Uh, bicycle chores. Just one. Just one. Yeah, mm -hmm. just one. And uh, long pants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't need a lot of clothes. I don't have a lot of cosmetics. I nothing from this. Just because I just just keep this uh, T-shirt because it's for for me for remember these teams. So mm -hmm. I have T-shirt from Palenque, from Chiapas. Well, you're gonna have a souvenir from the Sábado. Pero puedo pagar. No, yes, te lo regalo a vos. Show it, show it to the camera. Oh, nice. Really beautiful gift. I, I'm in shock. Well, Salvador people are really, really, really good person. Really, I. Uh, well, I, I guess. Yeah, that means I, I fed all this country and uh, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. I want to say goodbye and wish you a lot of beautiful trips. Uh, if you want to know more about my trip, you can follow my website and uh, if you want to be a part of my trip and maybe uh, sponsor it, uh, you can follow this link. Bye. <laughs>